David the giant killer. Goliath was big. He had to stoop to get through doorways. His head was always bumping up against the ceiling, and his friends thought twice before inviting him to dinner. Goliath had a big spear, ten feet long at least, with a big iron point, and his big bronze armour weighed a hundred pounds or more. Goliath had a big voice too, and one day he used it. He stamped out in front of his army and shouted across the valley to the soldiers camped on the other side. I am Goliath, he bellowed, and I dare any of you to come and fight me. Win the fight and we will be your slaves. Lose and you must work for us. <laughs> David was little. Just a boy, really, who looked after the sheep. When he wanted a break from that, he carried cheese to his brothers in the army. And that's what he was doing one day when he heard Goliath shout. David was a little angry. Who does that giant think he is? huffed David. Doesn't he know that the Lord God himself watches over us? Why, with God's help, even I could beat that bully. So, David took a little walk. He went to see the king. I want to fight the giant, he announced. And the king almost fell off his throne. <laughs> but you are so little, said the king. And he is so big. A lion is big, answered David. And so is a bear. But when they came after my sheep, the Lord God helped me to face them and fight them off. He will do the same with this giant. Oh, all right, the king agreed. But at least let me lend you my armour. The armour was big, too big, and so heavy that David could hardly move. So he gave it back and picked up five little stones instead and a sling and his trusty shepherd's staff. Goliath gave a big laugh when he saw the little shepherd boy, and he took two big steps. David ran a little way. Two more giant steps for Goliath, and David ran a little further. They were in the middle of the valley now, and everything was quiet. Goliath roared a big roar, sucked in a big breath of air, and raised his big spear. David sneaked his little hand into his little pouch, pulled out a little stone, and slipped it in his sling. Then he spun it round his head and let it fly. And before the giant could say another word, the stone struck him on the head, and he fell with a big thud to the ground. David sighed, shouted a big, Hooray! Goliath's side whispered, Uh-oh! And from then on, some pretty big things happened to the little shepherd boy. He was given a king's reward. He was promised the hand of the king's daughter. And one day, he became king himself. The very best king God's people ever had. <laughs>